so so far these are all the sodas that they had at box lunch so they have bumble carito they have a beast boy barrel i know on the other side they also had cusco peter vegman and um, i'm not too sure if that's superhero in the purple oh her name is Jenya. Pop Shabakli family, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed our small little trip to the mall uh, at our, some of our favorite retail stores for Funko products, Funko goodness. Me and Pivy are feeling a little bit spicy today because we did go ahead and pick up a few Funko sodas to go ahead and unwrap and show you guys uh, the possibility of getting a chase. Hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully your <laughs> trick works. I know. So if you guys don't know my secret, my ultimate secret technique on getting the chases is to really like shake the can as hard as you can. I think for me, Pivoti, if I feel that the can is really dense, I know it's a chase. Or if it's really heavy. I mean, for I know. flop, when it works that way. I, I feel like mostly all the, all the chases are flop though. No, oh. they're metallic ones, gold ones. Or the really good ones are like a lot more heavier. So, so far me and Piggly have picked up three Funko sodas from um, Box Lunch. But before I show you guys what they are, um, me and Piggly went ahead and picked up two Funko sodas that we, we, well, we picked up two Funko sodas that we really liked. And for the first one, this one here is a Hot Topic exclusive. And it is on one of the coolest bears to ever walk the earth. And we got the infamous coolest yellow bear, Winnie the Pooh, you guys. Um, unfortunately, um, this one right here isn't a chase. Me and Pivity had picked us picked this one up from a local collector who was also trying to get the chase of this particular Winnie the Pooh soda. I think the Winnie the Pooh soda, the chase, is one of the coolest Funko sodas to release this year. But nonetheless, I'm pretty happy to have the common one. The next stop would be, of course, me and Pivy collecting the Chase Winnie the Pooh. So this is how Winnie the Pooh looks like as a Funko Soda. And you guys, you guys cannot tell me that Winnie the Pooh doesn't look awesome. And here he, here he is with all his majesty. And you guys, I don't know about you guys, but Winnie the Pooh is such one of the coolest characters like Disney has ever made. I just love how Pooh is very copy like... Copy his face. Copy his face. He's like... Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just love his design. I just, I don't know how they came up with it, but I just love how Pooh has his small shirt, his small crop shirt showing his... Sexy body. I know his like round belly and really Pooh is really genuine that's what what really a lot of us like about Pooh is that although Pooh it may be kind of slow sometimes he's like very modest very genuine and that's just, like a very likable character I know right so this one right here you guys is awesome I think Winnie the Pooh once again is one of the coolest characters in Disney so me and Pippi had to, of course, grab Winnie the Pooh. Alright, you know what? Let me just take him out. So he would look like this. There we go. And then for the second soda, this one right here is a thriller in the East. The infamous Godzilla himself, you guys. The infamous Godzilla himself. The infamous Godzilla, you guys. And this one here is another awesome um, Funko Soda. We were able to get this soda once again from the same collector. And really, um, a Godzilla, just like Winnie the Pooh, the design is... The design... Yeah, I, I cannot speak English. <laughs> the design is really awesome. And you guys, you guys can't tell me this, this doesn't look awesome. The glow one's better 
oh yeah the chase of godzilla is a glow in the dark but the attention to detail on godzilla on this particular funko soda especially the common is insane like you can see all the ridges and the spikes on his back it's like really thought out especially for for a common and even if you have a common i just still think that um this will look awesome on y'all's collection and this is um godzilla you guys oh i forgot to i forgot to show you guys the the pog actually so this is the common the common godzilla pog it is one out of 10,500 and for Winnie the Pooh it is one out of 8,400 and you got Pooh Bear daydreaming at the back All right. so this is this is the part in the video where we go ahead and test our luck to see if we can get any chases from the Funko Solas that we picked up today. And, um, and of course, the, we picked up some really good ones on some really um, beloved characters, some really known characters. And for the first one, this is, would be on Mr. Monopoly, a game that you can love and hate at the same time depending on the situation. I remember me and my family, or when me and my cousins get together and play this game, we get really frustrated with each other, especially if y'all if on the losing end. So, I think this one's a chase. This one's kind of heavy. Chase is glue. So you guys can hear, this one's pretty like thick. So I'm, I'm, I'm assuming this one's a chase. Let's see. So how are we going to do this for you? Did you want me to open the bag? Yeah, you yeah. have. That's the way to. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're gonna open him right up, and uh, here it is. I can't pick. So we're picking. Come on, Funko Spirits, help me on this one. <laughs> <laughs> and we have. What's the R for? <laughs> oh, so this will be on... That's okay, you guys. Uh, I'm so happy with this one. This one will be the common Mr. Monopoly. I don't know, I think Funko's really doing an excellent job on the Funko sodas coming out this year. Just like... I don't think Godzilla came out maybe... Last this, year. Last year? I don't know. Oh, yeah. But ne neither the less, I think Mr. Monopoly, the detail on him is absolutely amazing so even if he is a common he will look good on y'all's collection as well and just to show you guys how the pog looks like you got mr monopoly on the back and this will be out of one out of eight thousand four hundred so so far we are one in three uh -huh. Alright, one thing. So hopefully we could change our luck with the other two sodas. Alright, so for the second soda, uh, this one will be on an old Christmas tale classic movie. Um, I'm gonna insert like maybe a clip or like a title. I, I forgot the title of the name, but this will be on. Oh. The Year Without Santa Claus, that's what the movie is called. And this will be on Heat Miser. Of course, he looks really awesome, you guys. You know, and this is how he would look like. What's the chase on this one? I think the chase on this one is like... Is it what? A glow in the dark, I think. Oh, no, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, same. I'm sorry, but we're about to find out right now. So let's go ahead and give this soda open. Once again, hopefully the Funko Spirits will let me get a chase on this one, you guys. As we open it. Oh, this one's coming. Oh, this one's a chase. <laughs> just because, just because you can't open it. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure... Okay, maybe my testing method... <laughs> Is that working? It might work. But as you guys can tell, this one's pretty heavy. <laughs> I said a lot. I said it's heavy for Mr. Malapi. Monopoly. Mr. Monopoly last time. 
Let's see. We got Let's Oh let's 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 go you guys let hey Pivy let's go. Let's go. So you have to show it. The shaking method is one for it. one for three now. So this one here you guys is the chase version of Heat Miser. What? And as you guys can see, he looks absolutely stunning. Um, I think the Chase variant of Heat Miser, I love the translucent red hair. I love the fire in his hand. Especially if, if you get like good lighting and y'all, good lighting, if you get good lighting, the light really bounces off on his hair as well as the fire. It really accents like the heatness or like the fire of Heat Miser. So this was like a really job well done by Funko. I love the whole like aesthetic. So I think they did a really good job in the chase. Well, it's just the glow. Is it glow? I don't think it's glow. I think it's, it's just like that. I think it's translucent, I think. <laughs> As for guys, if for those who are wondering, this is how the pod would look like. And there's one... That's a common one! Is it common? <laughs> no, common's 10,000. No, it's it? out of 10,000, so you got one out of 8,400. Oh, man. I was like hubbing <laughs> myself up this whole time. <laughs> okay, I, I, I... We'll cut it. I think I'm... A... <laughs> so... Unfortunately, are I you sure? Are you sure, Pivi? This is. Well, I don't know. I don't know what the chase is. Well, maybe this looks, is the chase. It looks pretty cool, though. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is a chase, actually. <laughs> but this shows this shows you to guys that even though this is a common, like this one looks like a really awesome Funko Soda. No, that's a regular one. Regular. Oh man. Well, that's okay. That's okay. It's still an awesome, <laughs> awesome Funko Soda. The Chase one is glittered. Glittered? Like the outfit, the outfit is glittered, but the hair is the same. Hair is the same. Oh man. That's pretty cool still. It's still pretty cool. I'm so, I'm so happy with that. I still think that Heat Miser looks awesome. Okay, so maybe I'm not, I, I cannot recommend the Shaking Method for you guys. So far, we're, we're two out of three. All right, so continuing on, uh, we are moving to the third and final soda of today's pickup. And this will be on the character in Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the Christmas movie. And it will be on the character, character Bumble. Man, I remember Bumble when I was watching this movie as a kid. When they're trying to eat Rudolph it was like one of the scariest scenes in the movie. And um, once again, I think like the design of Bumble looks awesome as well as the ones we picked up so far. And hopefully, you know, but the same as Chase is glittered one. Chase is glittered. <laughs> I'm hoping for some. I'm hoping for some last moment magic. I mean, this last, is the same either one. Last, like it's just glittered. This is our last hoorah. <laughs> hopefully, we can get a chase on this one. <laughs> We have to believe it's a chase. If we believe it's a chase, it's gonna be a chase. Just, just paint it. <laughs> this is a chase. And it will be... <laughs> Bumble. Posture Bobby to the zero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but still, Bumble looks pretty cool, right? Yeah. All right? So this is how Bumble looks like, you guys. Um, he's an awesome character. Um, um, if you guys haven't watched Rudolph, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys might have already watched it. If you haven't already watched the movie, I highly recommend it. It is a Christmas classic. And this will be on the Abominable Snowman as Bumble. Oh man, I was hoping to show you guys some cool magic, some cool like reactions to like opening no chases. <laughs> I might have to like go back to the drawing board on how I'm gonna 
pick up my sodas in the wild. But so far, this is an awesome haul. Neither the less, we got Bumble, Heat Miser, Winnie the Pooh, Godzilla, and Mr. Monopoly himself. If you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed um, unwrapping them for you, and thinking you gotta chase. <laughs> gotta chase. Um, please comment down below um, which one's your favorite Funko, Funko Soda to date. And if you're on, already following us on Instagram or um, uh, Facebook or Twitter, I will oh, leave. We don't have Twitter. We have TikTok. I mean, TikTok. We're going to go ahead and leave a, um, a little tab. We just started our TikTok, so... We just started our TikTok and me and Pippi are getting our feet wet on learning how everything works. So um, just stay in tune for that as we try to find new ways to put out cool content. So I'm going to put all the links right here. And until next time, I'm Pop Shavakadu and I'll see you guys later.